Because they have these two blessings of Allah. Health and free time. Because the one who's sick, he worries about only himself. لَمَّا يَمْرَدَ الْإِنسَانِ فَهُوَ الَّذِي يَحْتَاجُ الْمُسَاعَدَ الْآنِ يَحْتَاجُ مَنْ يَقُومُ بِهِ وَمَنْ يَعُودُهُ Because when a person gets sick, forget about him trying to help others. Because when a person gets sick, he needs to be helped. He needs to be assisted. Add to that, when a person has no time, he has health, but he is busy. The lot of obligations has to be postponed. A lot of things are not achieved because of this. فَعَلَيْنَا عِبَادَ اللَّهِ أَنْ نَغْتَنِمْ هَاتَيْنِ النِّعْمَتَيْنِ الْعَظِيمَتَيْنِ We have to take advantage of these two blessings of Allah. When you're healthy, use it. Perform actions of worship. You have free time, use it. To get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because we live in a dunya. We're human beings. Things may change. As we are no stranger to this. We got sick before. We've been very busy sometimes. So we have to take advantage. When you're healthy, take advantage of it. You never know when you're going to get sick. And you never know when you're going to be very busy as well. لكن أهم شيء هو علينا أن دائما نفكر في الموت لأن الموت ينهي الآمال These two favors that we are talking about today and these blessings of Allah which is health and free time that many people are not benefiting from them they will have nothing but regret and sorrow when death comes upon anyone. At that moment, they will understand how important or the importance of these two blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When a person sees death, they will wish if they can, be in, they can go back to this dunya. Why? So they can do that which they didn't do when they were healthy and they have the free time in it. As Allah tells us in Surah Al-Mu'minun, حَتَّى إِذَا جَاءَ أَحَدَهُمُ الْمَوْتُ قَالَ رَبِّ ارْجِعُونَ لِعَلِّي لَعَلِّي أَعْمَلُ صَالِحًا فِي مَا تَرَكْتْ Until when death comes upon any one of them, he will say, my Lord, send me back to this dunya. Why? To keep being negligent and lazy and wasting the time. لا. لعلي أعمل صالحا. That I may do good in that which I have left behind. Also in Surah Al-Munafiqoon, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the end of it. من قبل أن يأتي أحدكم الموت فيقول ربي لولا أخرتني إلى أجل قريب فأصدق وأكون من الصالحين. Likewise at this moment a person will say my Lord if you only grant me respite give me a little time for the same purpose so that I do good in that which I didn't do before. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an, Kalla, nay, no one will be given this. Death is only one, one way. No one comes back from death. وَلَكِنْ عِبَادَ اللَّهِ قَدْ يَعْرِضُ لِلْإِنسَانِ فِي حَيَاتِهِ قَبْلَ الْمَوْتِ Death is inevitable. It's a certainty. That is certain, tomorrow is not. But a person 
may be deprived from these two blessings. As we mentioned earlier, even before death come upon a person. In this life, a person gets very sick. Now they cannot move, they cannot do the things that they supposedly done when they were healthy. So we have to prepare for these moments. We're human beings, we're vulnerable, we're weak. Don't let your muscles fall you. Or your youth, because you're young, you're still, now oh, it takes a bite of a mosquito, you don't even know when it did it. And then you catch fever, and before you know it, they take you to the hospital, and before you know it, who knows? Some people make it to the hospital and come back next day. Some people make it to the hospital and they're still there for years. Laying down, can't move. The only thing that's still functional, alhamdulillah, for some, is their tongue, which they remember Allah, but they cannot come to Jumu'ah, cannot visit other people, cannot do things that they supposedly been doing when they were healthy. So remember, Ya Abdullah, هذه النعمة. نعمة الصحة. When you're healthy and you're, alhamdulillah, you can move and you wake up and you can do things, thank Allah for it first. You thank Allah, especially when you see other people around you who are sick and been afflicted with diseases, with illnesses. Whenever you see a person like that, you thank Allah for what you have. You thank Allah and you praise Him for the health you have. Some people, subhanAllah, don't pay attention to these favors of Allah. Blessings. Their minds go to material things. Our minds keep going to material things. Instead of really appreciating these favors. Some people are filthy rich. Because they cannot drink water anymore. They cannot walk. They cannot talk. They got a lot of money. But they don't have these blessings of health. Being able to wake up in the morning. And walk towards the masjid. In which with every step you subhanallah. We, you know the reward. They cannot do things with their little ones. With their children. They cannot go for a walk with their grandparents. Or with their parents and the like. But you, you're still. You're healthy. Thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that. وَنِعَمُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْنَا كَثِيرَ عِبَدَ اللَّهِ نِعَمُ اللَّهِ كَثِيرَ عَلَيْنَا جِدًّا Many are the favors and the bounties and the blessings of Allah that we enjoy. And it necessitates from us to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for each and every one of them.